Nice. I was just about to make a video saying how I just finished getting ready and was ready to roll. And then this happened. They just got here from work. It's pretty late. I'm sure he's not in the best mood because he worked later than he was supposed to. But anyway, I'm having this very festive. Oh, that's not the best lady. I have on this very festive sweater today. Um, this is a sweater, I don't know if you remember from like a few vlogs ago. Let me put this down. A few vlogs ago, um, I got this sweater and I was like, I'm not gonna show anybody because I don't want people to know where I got it from, you know, being selfish. And it's got a little llama on it. It's got Christmas trees. It's very cute. I have on blue jeans with it. I'm thinking of changing it and putting on black jeans. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that's not even the best part. Watch this. Watch. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, it lights up. Okay, I would like to brag about something. It is 40 degrees outside right now. Midway through December, the sun is out, the freaking snow is melting, and it's 40 degrees outside. What is happening? Well, I'm starving and we are on our way to this guy's work holiday party. And I'm surprisingly not hangry. For as hungry as I am, I am not hangry, which is nice. And I didn't have coffee or anything, don't know why, but anyway, I'll take it. Um, yeah, so. All right, so I just finished Jose's Christmas party dinner or whatever with his co-workers and it is almost seven so and we just finished eating dinner at BD Mongolian uh, wasn't the best but whatever uh, so now we are headed to go bowling here at Basher Mall at IPIC I haven't been in years I went once for my brother's birthday when he was like really young so now we're going to um, bolt with just a few of his co-workers um, to kill some time because it's Saturday and I don't think I'm going salsa dancing this weekend so what better way to you know I guess kill time than bowl I also got my ass kicked by my best friend Jesse earlier this week earlier this week so I'm gonna try to redeem myself this time against a bunch of boys because I'm the only girl so we'll see how that goes <laughs> It is, you won't believe it, 
it's one o'clock in the morning. I am obviously in the car right now. I was the DD for the night. Uh, Jose and all of his coworkers got shit faced. While I remained sober. I had a beer at the bowling alley. But um, after we left, well, you saw we went to um. Mary's Beer Cade, and then after that I convinced all the guys to go salsa dancing with me, which is amazing, and I wish I would have taken my camera in there, but it was just too much of a responsibility to like keep it in my pocket, make sure it didn't fall out, and all this other stuff, um, but we had so much fun. I kind of sort of taught all the guys how to dance, and then I like danced for myself for a little bit, but a couple of the team members got a little too drunk, so um, I had to drop one of them off and then Jose is also kind of donezo for the night um so we ended up leaving uh we are currently well Jose's inside of Qdoba right there that's on Brady Street they finally put one over here like maybe like eight months ago or something like that uh this is like the total college -y bro area I used to waitress over here so I don't know. And we also used to live just like right up the block off of Prospect. So, yeah, it's nice to be back in the area. It feels nice. Like, I don't know. It reminds me of why I chose to live down here and how awesome it was while we did live down here. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. There's like, I don't know. There's weird people walking past the car whatever anyway um yeah so we are just gonna stop at Qdoba get something quick to eat and then we are going to head home after that so this is kind of where I wanted to just call it a night um and that we will see you guys tomorrow morning uh we should be up in time for church but with this guy being so drunk I don't even know if we'll make it um so yeah otherwise I will see you guys in the morning bye good night Hey guys, sorry we've been so MIA today. It's been kind of crazy. Um, we got in super late yesterday, like around two, I think, and then this morning we um, didn't wake up until like 10:30, so we totally missed church this morning. Um, and then we literally stayed in bed all day until about five, I think, until around five o'clock, and then. I finally got up and showered. I know it's gross, whatever, get over it, it happens. Finally showered. Okay, so anyway, uh, I finally got up like, you know, later this evening and then took a shower and everything and then we realized that Clash of Champions was coming on tonight. Uh, so we decided to, we had to go to Target so we hurry up, just ran to Target to grab the stuff that we needed and now we're back to watch, to nerd out and watch Clash of Champions. So I guess I just, I thought I'd do just, a tiny little haul um, to show you guys what we got at Target, which was not very much because we were in such a hurry to get back. I think we had like 20 minutes to get there, so to get there and get back. So, okay, this is what we got. I love this stuff. This Myers Clean Clean Day Hand Soap. It is so nice, and I'm pretty sure it's organic. Yeah, it's made with olive oil and aloe vera. It's so nice. It's super gentle, and it makes my hands feel really smooth. Uh, after I use it, we got the bluebell scent this time. The last time we had like some sort of lemony scent or something like that. But, and it's super cheap. I think it's like maybe $3. So if you guys are at Target, try this out. It is so good and it smells really good too. I'm going to try out the Curls uh, Blueberry Bliss, Bliss Curl Jelly um, and just give that a roll and see how I like that. So anyway, uh, Babe got the Naked Juice. He's totally hungover, so he got the Blue Machine Boosted Smoothie Naked Juice. Uh, so this is his like recovery method to try to get rid of his hangover. And then I am trying out another kombucha. I'm trying this one today. Um, it's by GTS Kombucha Organic and Raw, uh, the multi-green one. I've never had this one before, but I've seen it. Um, Every time I've gone, obviously, and I just wanted to try this one out. But hold on, there is one that I really like. I really like this one by Hum. It was so good. It was the blueberry mint one. It didn't even really taste like kombucha. Kombucha typically has like 
this gingery, like, you know, the fermented taste. And I don't particularly care for that flavor, but this one was so good. This blueberry mint, oh my god, it was so good. But something about it just made it seem like it wasn't, like, as pure as this... Wow, it wasn't as pure as this one. So, I don't know, it was really good, but, oh God, so close. I thought Dom Sigler was about to take it. Um, you know, yeah, just, it's, something seems off. I don't know if they use like artificial flavoring or anything. It says that it doesn't, but, you know, something's just so good. It's just like, how is this natural? Like, it's too good for it to be like, just natural, organic. Like, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, so I know we didn't get to vlog very much, so I thought that I would leave you guys with um, uh, a montage of when we went to Devil's Lake, um, and, I ho and hopefully that makes up for our lack of vlogging today. <laughs>